good morning, everyone. Yes, it's an early Wednesday morning, Odin's Day. We're supposed to be expecting some severe winds and storms, so I thought I'd get this done, uh, well, since I was awake anyway. And uh, I poured these runes, I was doing some resin rune pouring yesterday, uh, yesterday morning, and I experimented with a few things, got a couple of different sets, so I thought it'd be fun to reveal them for you uh, this morning uh, while I still had power. Who knows what's gonna happen today? So let's get down, do the fun stuff. new mold I got on Amazon. I try to get these a little darker, I think, but I like the lilac or the amethyst look of these. This is the weird room. Oh, yeah. These have a nice design on them. set. I really like the look of this set. They're thin. They have a nice design. They came out really nice. They're lightweight. So I'll see what kind of color, maybe gold, I'll paint in the middle. All right, next up is the set that I put some gold flake kind of looks like a glitter. And then I used pyrite. I added in the pyrite first and poured the room. The rune after that, but they're thicker. Man, they look pretty cool. Now, once you put the uh, the paint on, I suppose you can either paint them or not. But I like to paint the the inside of the rune, and uh, you still may see it from the back. Something to consider when buying uh, translucent runes. But let's look at these here. Oh, some of these came out great. All right, let's get them out. Check them all out. All right, here are the pyrite runes. Let's take a look at these. more fun once they get painted. That's the pyrite. Here's a full gold glitter set. That's the weird rune. Let's see how these turned out. Be interesting to figure out what color to paint the actual rune. But these seem to be Pretty fun too, let's get them out. Right, so here's the uh, gold glitter set. You can see all the larger glitters sunk to the bottom. Actually, let me kind of put the face there and then a little bit of a different glitter sprinkled on the top, but translucent there. I think these turned out nice too. Now you can use ones where you can see the rune uh, through it. You can use these for casting, no problem, because they don't have to have a blank matching back for divination. There we go. All right. Let's take a look at this next set. All right. This one I did with the, this really nice purple powder. I used a lot of it. So I can get this really good, almost dioxazine metallic pearlescent purple. These are solid all the way through. And I like this kind of, I love this color. And I'll probably paint these gold, the purple and gold. Yeah, let's get these out. These are, I like, really like the color on this. Here in this purple one. 
is the dust that they use in this is just a high pigment soap dye, I think. But wow, they look great. I really do like this set. And it'll be fun to paint these up. So I'm hoping to have more of these done here soon and up on the Etsy site. Or you can send me a message if you would like a set. All right, there you go. There's a new resin runes going on. I'm going to try and do some other ones with some different colors, work with some different stones. I've made some with carborundum. I've made some with black tourmaline. I've made some with selenite as well. So I'm going to see what kind of a crystal work we can weave into these runes as well. So I'm going to get to painting these, I think. And, uh, so we can weather out the storm. Hope you guys have a great time. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share, and do all that stuff. Leave your comments below if you've got some suggestions for what I can do, colors, types of stones to put in these resin runes. Let me know. All right, see you next time.